Well, the October session of the South Dakota Supreme Court is underway this week, and one of the cases involves an incident that happened in 2016 north of Pier. Garrett Tronvold, who is part of the Pier Volunteer Fire Department, was heading to a monthly meeting at the fire station. According to court documents, he failed to stop at a stop sign at the intersection of Grey Goose Road and South Dakota Highway 1804. As he crossed the oncoming lane of traffic, a motorcycle carrying Randall Jurgens and Lisa Tammon crashed into the side of his pickup. Both suffered life-threatening injuries and had to have their left legs amputated. The fire department and city of Pierce say that they were not vicariously liable for Tronville's actions under the coming and going rule. To go to this meeting, he just had to get there. That is not a vehicle exception to the strongly established coming and going rule that has been recognized in the restatement and has been the established law, not only in South Dakota, but elsewhere. In this case, Mr. Trombo was going to train with his personal protective equipment to learn how to be a fireman. He wasn't benefiting from this. The sole benefit to him, the sole benefit in this case was to the Pure Volunteer Fire Department because they were getting firemen who were volunteers better trained. Convold was not injured during the crash. It was disputed whether or not the meeting was mandatory. However, a city ordinance says that there are requirements to attend all meetings. The Supreme Court will make a ruling at a later date.